Do you know why people don't f*** their sisters? Yeah. 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 Why? Um, it's too much fun. <laughs> Just... <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like it fits, ugly ugly sisters it fits perfect you know it's like it's lego you know what i mean so i learned about this i gotta i gotta tell you i gotta no, i don't know i gotta I tell know. you about this so i learned this shit. i gotta yeah. tell you about it right yeah. so there's something called the westermark effect right? okay what it seems like happens um let's say that me and you are brother and sister yeah i can't tell that you're my genetic relative right there's no um like little code on your face no smell or anything you would be able to notice uh, an affinity but you wouldn't necessarily you're not disgusted sexually disgusted because of that the reason is because of this thing called the westermark effect okay so what happens is infants that are raised together for a good amount of time throughout their infancy usually between the age of like one to two until uh like puberty age yeah what they do is they look at their parents and the family around them and they see who is mum giving attention to who am i being raised with who's she breastfeeding if you're the older sibling you look at um did that baby like come out of mum and around the time of labor was she holding this baby that then became my brother or sister and that's called the westermark window right mm. so you have this period of time and what you get is this sexual disgust imprinting so that's why you don't have sex not because of some inbuilt innate i know that you're my brother or sister it's because of this window mm. now the interesting thing happens when brother and sister are split apart at birth they'll f not necessarily but well i mean in the same like amount of hit rate that two random people on the street would do but they don't have sexual disgust because they haven't lived together for that time yeah. same thing goes for the father that leaves the daughter's life and then comes back in later in life and you think maybe already daddy issues but also there's something about this person it seems like humans have a predisposition. They have a, an affinity toward people that resemble them a little bit. Mm. You actually see, you'll see them if you look at couples walking down the street and you go like, you kind of look alike mm. a little bit. And there is an affinity for that. So what you end up with is this very dangerous situation where two, a brother and sister that have been taken apart can then come back together and they don't have that sexual disgust. In Indonesia, there was a period where families would adopt the daughter of another family when she was a newborn and betrothed her to their son, raised them together. But what they didn't realize was that they were putting them through this Westermark window. Oy. And it meant that even though they weren't genetically related, they had sexual they disgust. They were disgusted. Yeah. How interesting is that? Fuck. So what would happen? Would they have sex with one another? With difficulty. I mean, like brother and, brothers and sisters have done it before, but it's hard. Like it's very, very ingrained yeah. to do that. We should give them some credit. like For getting past it. Yeah. like A lot of we, Viagra and if Good no, but we order. tease all these like Southerners. They're like, "Oh, it's all incest, blah blah blah." These like brother, f whatever, like that. But like, I guess what you're trying to say is like, we should honor them for for their ability to break through the Westmark barrier, <laughs> no, right? Is that what your no, point is? That's not Did my. Did you point. bring this up to to, to justify the, incest? Not I want justify it, like more incest. Give them a medal. <laughs> like like you couldn't f your sister, you <laughs> pussy. You know what I mean? Let me fuck. But that guy did. What? Well, I know that you don't have a sister. Yeah. And I'm an only child. So they that did you know of. You could have smashed out your sister in Leeds or something like that. You think? You could have been up in Leeds. Oh, f you separated know? at birth. <laughs> she had curly hair and a big jawline and a stupid accent. Dude, imagine. Adopted people got to worry about it all the time. Do you not remember um, that sperm donor guy? There was that documentary on Netflix, that dude that it turned out he was the fertility doctor and he was using his own sperm. This was in Brazil or no, something? No, it was like in that? the US. Oh, really? It's, it's on Netflix now. It's Brilliant in the US, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, this guy. Oh yeah, he like. Oh, that's right. The like whole town 40, was him. Yeah, like everybody, and they were all thinking yeah. that apparently one of the women said exactly that. Which she was, was like waiting for the list of names to come through and praying that it wasn't an ex-boyfriend. But remember about that, like but she. Can we also point this out? Like a lot of them wouldn't have gotten like doctor genetics. Now I'm not saying they should be grateful, right? Mm -hmm. But. <laughs> You know, but like they're probably objectively smarter You've because got fertility, of this evil fertility scientist. doctor. Yeah, like I mean, it's is that, that not MD? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they got Listen, psychopaths. It's genetics. bad. It's bad what he did. Yeah, but all those kids are smarter. Imagine they're dumb dads. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Fixing plumbing all day and shit like that. Coming home to this smart ass kid, 
right? Don't like, Jim Shark, don't cancel me. Yeah. The, but, <laughs> but like, think about it. Like, they're smarter because of it. They were able to figure it out because of that f-ing doctor gene. One of those kids got to the bottom of it because and that's of the, the father's beca- fault. Because of the gift that the father gave them. The, yeah, done. coming back. So they did, done. they did a study where they got guys to imagine tongue kissing their sister, right? Ugh. You pulled the face. So what they were doing was they were videoing the facial expressions yeah. of these guys. I was doing and, this because she, my sister would also have a big nose. So I was like just uh, getting out of the way of it. It, it hits yeah. the mic sometimes, I've <laughs> noticed, yeah. Um, and uh, they, had, they were tracking the facial expressions and they can um, <laughs> categorize them. Yeah, they can yeah. say, this is disgust, this is happiness, this is blah, blah, blah. Yeah, blah. yeah. And they found that right on cue, some of the guys were like, oh, and some of the dudes were so far back that the camera went out of focus. However, the guys that didn't have sisters showed a like a disproportionate amount of like smiles curling at the edge of the mouth <laughs> because it's like there's no sexual there's no like incest aversion there's no sexual yeah. disgust for that why do you think we're so into like the stepsisters and that kind of shit? fascinating question i don't know why like incest porn and stepmom porn that's popping right now isn't it the incest porn and the stepmom porn well i think this the milf thing do you thing, think that's pandemic related like we're all in the house together and it's like the only person you're seeing is your stepmom maybe there's definitely something to do with the milf thing which is like an older more powerful woman that can say what she wants i think that's that's attractive i think that's one of the reasons that guys go toward the milf thing i mean why do you why why are people th- that's what guys are turned on by that some guys are some guys are turned on by like cuck porn and all sorts of stuff yeah what do you think about that that cuck thing is so odd I really can't. Oh come yeah, up we were talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really can't come up with a good example or a good a good explanation for it. I've got a guy coming on next year who's one of the premier researchers into cooking, uh, so I'm going to ask him and I'll find out like what it is that he's the premier. One of them. There's imagine, not many. Imagine being like the worst. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm one of the worst researchers in cook porn. Like, I, listen, I watch my wife get f-ed a lot. Like, I've been no in idea why it's happening. Yeah, I just can't just... figure out why I love it so much. Like. <laughs> Fuck. That's the premier researcher. Has he tried it? Is I, it like some Keynesy shit where like he's oh, doing, he's all doing the it for himself? I have no idea. I don't know, man. But I it, mean, what we we're saying out there is that the, you're trying to control an uncontrollable situation, right? Like you're getting cheated on a lot, so you're like, okay, I'm just going to allow this as if you're in charge. But yeah. being in the room and watching it as a way to like almost desensitize yourself. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I have a friend who. Uh, was trying non-monogamy for the first time and his wife was upstairs banging her boyfriend while he was downstairs dry retching on all fours on the bathroom like bathroom counter and his dry justif- retching what is that oh throwing <laughs> up oh, wow, wow. like had nothing to bring up but just yeah, yeah. felt but she like she was also up there like <laughs> <laughs> like isn't that interesting that like she was on all fours also dry retching fucking you know? in in unison together <laughs> it's like we're still together um and <laughs> He said he justified This is fun, mate. (laughs) In other news, this episode is brought to you by Whoop. It is the best fitness tracker that I have ever found. It's the only one that I've ever stuck with, and it tracks absolutely everything from my sleep to my recovery, even the workouts that I do every single day through this strap, which is on 24-7. My resting heart rate and my heart rate variability and even how much I'm breathing throughout the night tells me my quality of sleep. It gives me trends and reports over time. But the most important thing is it actually nudges my behavior through suggestions in an app. It's a digital coach, not just a fitness tracker, and it encourages me to change my behavior that will improve my health over the long term. Even better than that, you can join for free, pay nothing for the brand new Whoop 4.0 strap, and get your first month for free. So you buy it for free, try it for free, and if you do not like it after 29 days, they'll give you your money back. Head to join.whoop.com slash modernwisdom to sign up right now. That's join.whoop.com slash modernwisdom. What's happening, people? If you enjoyed that, then press here for the full unedited episode. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.